What's up? Welcome to Broaken. I'm Brody. I'm here to awaken you. And today, we're going to go very, very deep into the topic of are we living in a simulation? So if you've seen the movie Truman Show, Jim Carrey's in it, and throughout the whole movie, he's actually living within a TV set and has no clue. And throughout the movie, he starts to discover little things. He starts to question, hey, that doesn't make sense. Just kind of like what's going on in real life right now, right? Rest of the movie, he continues to wake up more. And eventually he's waking up so much that he starts testing reality itself. He starts going outside the comfort zone and trying things that he's never known about until eventually he discovers, of course, that he hits the wall in the ocean and discovers that he's on TV and they've been filming his whole life. So how do we know, knowing that Hollywood likes to put out movies that kind of predict the program us, prepare us, brainwash us for things in real life, how do we know Hollywood's not just trying to put things in plain sight for us to see, right? So that movie should really get you wondering about how it's all going and do we really live in the Truman Show? Now, just a little disclaimer, today we're gonna go deep into this topic. And I hope at the end of this video, you start to wake up, you start to wonder things you never thought before. Because if you're watching this channel, you by design were meant to land on this video today. So you can start preparing your mind for what's to come. Don't worry, long run good things are gonna come. But right now you need to wake up to this world that we're in, that's not actually how it's supposed to be. Going back to the beginning, are we in a simulation? This is not just my own words. You can look up on Google, um, Elon Musk talking on many videos about how we could potentially be living in a simulation. And if you don't know who Elon Musk is, he's the owner of Tesla. He's a very smart guy. I don't want to say on this channel if he's a good or a bad guy for the world. That's for you to figure out. Maybe I'll explain that in another video. He did shoot up a bunch of satellites up in the sky, I think thousands of them. I don't know what that's all about. So look into him. Either way, he's talking about how we could be living in a simulation. So this is some high up professional guy that's well known talking about this. Not some guy on YouTube like me just talking about it. I'm just sharing you the message, right? So he brings that whole topic up and says how AI could take over. AI is advancing so quickly. It's taking jobs. It has the potential to replicate humans and do all the work that we can do, right? We're seeing it right now in 2020. All our jobs are going away. Well, Fast forward with our technology, okay? But the rate that it's growing from the past 20 years, from 2000 to 2020, you can see the whole PlayStation to a PS5. You can see virtual reality is everywhere now. And when you put the virtual reality on, it takes over your senses for seeing, for touching. And I'm sure in the future, you'll be able to smell and eat, you know, as crazy as it's going. Well, if you really look at that timeline of 20 years of how much it's really changed, the technology, you used to have phones that had to be attached to the cord, and now you can just call people wirelessly, right? Phones are basically in your hand, and it's a full laptop. You can do everything pretty well a laptop can do in your hand now. So they're getting pretty close to the point where technology would be integrated with your body. And that was like in 20 years we've seen this change. So just imagine taking 20 years and replicating it over a span of 100 years. Could you imagine our technology 100 years from now? Now take that same idea and replicate it again. A thousand years from now, if there's truly other civilizations out there who are smarter than us, because we know we're not the only ones in this galaxy as much as they say we are the only one, right? You can use common sense. You look up in the stars, it's not hard to imagine there's at least someone out there, right? Well, what if they're smarter than us and their technology is way more advanced than the technology we have, right? How do you know they never built, and I'm just saying as a theory, this is not like I'm saying this is for sure, this is a claim, just to protect my butt on this channel, right? How do you know they haven't created a fake world that we're living in right now? Because if their technology is even a thousand years more than us right now, from 2020 plus a thousand years, how do we know they can build an artificial world that we're living in right now? 
you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. We can barely tell the difference when you put virtual reality on now in 2020. How would you know a thousand years from now, right? And then you have NASA, never a straight answer, that's what they mean. Back in like 1960s or something like that, I don't want to go on this whole video about it, but they went to Antarctica to seek what was there, Operation Deep Freeze and Operation High Jump. And literally after going to an Antarctica, who knows what they discovered there, NASA's formed. Literally, like right after the whole thing, right? NASA's formed. So it makes you wonder what they found there or what they discovered about the world. There's a lot of things to say the world could be not flat or round or whatever you want to believe. I believe it's not what we're being told because if you hear a lie enough times, they'll start believing it and they've got the globe on literally every logo, every TV show. They've got documentaries about the world being round. So if you just keep repeating a lie enough of times, you start to believe it, right? So I really don't believe that it really is that. Because you go up in an airplane and you look in the distance, you see no curvature whatsoever. You should be able to see curvature that high up. I know there's a bunch of studies, you can find videos where people literally went to the Great Lakes in North America and they shot like a high powered binoculars right across the whole thing. And you can see, I believe from Michigan to Chicago, and there's literally no curvature at all. You can literally see the city skyline across from it. By theory, by math, you should not be able to see that whatsoever with the whole curvature stuff, right? Then with NASA, it's been 47 years since we've been to the moon. That should be enough to wake you up. 47 years. We live in 2020. The technology is crazy now. Yeah, we can't go back, right? So you can actually find a video on YouTube where there's a guy who works for NASA. He's like an engineer or scientist. And he's asked why they haven't been back to the moon. It's been so long. And he says that we've destroyed that technology. We can't recreate that technology. It's too expensive to recreate that technology. And during the video, he's like stuttering. He looks like it's an obvious lie. Poten potentially, I don't want to claim that on the channel, right? See, that guy saying that, it's 2020. We have awesome cameras. Where the heck is the 4K cameras up in the sky? with all these cool features where you can turn the camera and look whatever you want. Where's that stuff? I know they have cameras up there and you can find live feeds, but it's like poor cameras. And we don't know if that's like fake, right? But you know what is fake half the time? Google Earth. You go on Google Earth, there's been many times where people have caught clouds literally being cut and pasted side by side, the same formation. And it looks so fake. And people have caught this on Google Earth. And you could say, oh yeah, I'm reaching and that's just like some mistake by their coder. Maybe I'm just throwing that out there because I'm just the messenger, you're the researcher, right? The other thing about NASA, they'll have footage of like astronauts out in space working on the craft. And then all of a sudden the screen will mess up and you'll see a big green screen behind it for a split second. And then it goes back to whatever they're showing you. What's that all about? There's videos all out, out there on the internet you can find. Also, in those same videos, you can see like fish bubbles floating up out of the helmets. There's no water out in space floating around, you know what I mean? Where a lot of people, you can actually look through the video and you can notice that, that they're in a pool underwater and that's why the bubbles are coming out of their helmets, right? There's a joke that the first person to the moon was the Hollywood cameraman. Just a joke, maybe, I don't know. So I really want to get you thinking on this very good metaphor. And this will get you wondering about the simulation theory, which is just a theory in this video, okay? I'm not claiming it. Although there's a lot of questionable things about it. So a goldfish lives in its fish tank all its life. It's just in that bubble. And it swims around and it thinks that this is the world. It has no clue that literally, if it was just to go outside that fish tank, that there's an entire world to explore that has no clue about, right? Take that same theory, and what if we are the goldfish? What if we're in the fish tank? What if there is a whole world outside of this we're not being told? Oh, and another thing, you can look this up. NASA, in the language Hebrew, actually means to deceive, which is a funny, ironic 
terminology, right? It just happens to attach that word NASA, right? And also think about this. When they last went to the moon, guess what was released literally three years afterwards? Pong, the video game Pong. And you know how simple that game is? Just hitting the ball back and forth. That technology then was not that good. Our technology now, take Pong to virtual reality in the games that we play now, and they're not even comparable at all. Yet somehow we can't go back there. I don't know. Seems like nothing is adding up at all. Also, I just want to take the time for a minute to say I have a new background here. I changed my room up. Got the plant, the chakras, got some crystals, some amethyst. And some more crystals laying there, of course. Thought I'd make it a lot more spicy in the background, something to look at rather than just myself. The whiteboard's hard to see. Let me know in the comments below. I just want to finish this video with one thing. A lot of people live in that tunnel vision. And that's their entire life. And by design, a lot of people want us to stay within that tunnel vision. And the moment you tiptoe out and you decide to leave that tunnel vision, like myself, like many of you probably watching this video, people think you're nuts. They think you're crazy. They think you've lost it. The moment you question anything that's against this tunnel vision that they're trapped in and all the Netflix shows, all the TV shows, all their propaganda, all their narratives that they want you to believe, TV is just programming you. It's That's why it's called television. It's why it's called TV programming. It's why you turn on the channel and you plug in. It's why you play video games and you plug in. Plug, 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 plug. They want you to be plugged in because you're not thinking. The more distracted you are, the less thinking you have going on in your head. Are we in a simulation? I don't know. I just want to poke some fun at you. Definitely a lot of questionable things today and none of them resonate with you. Then maybe my content's not for you, but there's definitely gonna be something and you gotta go question. 47 years since the moon, that's the most obvious thing you could ever tell someone to get them thinking. Comment below if you think or you don't think we are living in a simulation. I wanna hear your opinion on it and like the video, subscribe. My last video got a lot of uh, traction and started spiking. A lot of cool comments from people. I really appreciate it actually. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and I hope to keep pumping out more videos. A lot of mind bending pretzel stuff. Your, your brain is going to be twisted by the end of you watch all my videos one after another. You know, I got other cool stuff like <laughs> tuning forks. I got a lot of cool spiritual stuff. I'll probably show you someday. Let's finish the video. Are we living in simulation? Yes or no? Ooh, it's going back and forth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. The pendulum seems to think we do. See you later. Thank you for watching.